Today, we are taking boring old mashed potatoes to a whole new level. This loaded mashed potato casserole is oozing with flavor and will have your family and friends begging for the recipe. I'm Christina from It Is A Keeper and I share tried and true recipes that anyone can make, like this mashed potato casserole. I've got some time-saving hacks that are going to make this recipe even easier. Alrighty, let's get started making this casserole. Okay, so the first step we need to do to make this loaded mashed potato casserole is we need mashed potatoes. So you can use leftover mashed potatoes or you can cheat what I'm doing and use instant mashed potatoes. You will never be able to tell the difference. It's, this recipe is that good. So we have our mashed potatoes here and to this I'm going to add some sour cream. And to that, I'm going to add some cream cheese. You can already see how this is going to be super creamy. And then we'll add a little bit of my house seasoning blend. I'll share that recipe in the show notes. And because everything is better with it, we're going to add a clove of garlic. And this is my favorite garlic press because this little guy comes out making it so much easier to to clean with it, to clean it. I'm just going to press that in there, get a nice fine mince on the garlic. And then when you're all done, see this just pops up and you can peel it right out. Perfect. Okay, and we'll just get all of that stirred together. Now today I'm making a half batch of this recipe. The, rest, the principal recipe is for an entire batch. I'm doing this in an eight by eight casserole the full batch is for a nine by 13, just so you have that little bit of clarification there. Because I know you guys watch closely and will tell me if I do something that I'm not mentioning, which I appreciate. Okay, perfect. Okay, so we're going to transfer this to our casserole dish. I'm just going to give it a nice light coating of cooking spray, just so nothing sticks. all of those potatoes in there. Oh, they smell so good. That garlic smells delicious. And we've got some that are trying to escape here. We'll get those back in. And I'm just going to smooth it out into a nice even layer. that extra off there. Okay, beautiful. So now we're going to load this mashed potato casserole up. So first thing is butter. We're just going to place these pats of butter just evenly over the top. It'll melt down nice in there. And then we're going to add some cheese. Now I like Colby Jack. You can use cheddar jack, you can use just cheddar, whatever your heart desires. I love the way Colby Jack melts though. It's my favorite. Just get a nice even layer of that. Then, bacon. So I've got some bacon here that I'm just going to chop up. This is great to use up leftover bacon. Is there a thing of leftover bacon? I don't know, not really in my house. There's a piece left, one of my guys will devour it. That's for sure. Alrighty. Get that on there. Look at that. Beautiful. And last but not least, we're going to add a green onion. I'm just gonna cut those tops off there. And I use the whites and the green part, just not the root. All right, sprinkle that on top. If nothing, it looks pretty, all the colors. Okay, 
Now we're gonna pop this in the oven, let it bake, and all those cheeses and the butter and everything is going to come together. And what do you see the delicious goodness that we get? Okay, so our casserole is done, and let me tell you, it smells incredible. So I'm just going to come in here on the side. Oh, look at that cheese pull there. That's a big bite. I'm a big girl, I can handle it. Mm. Oh yeah, this, oops, is amazing. Mm. I just love how all the flavors come together. The bacon, the onion, the garlic. Mm. Mm -mm. I'm telling you, your family and friends will be begging for this recipe. This loaded mashed potato casserole is definitely a keeper. This recipe is so versatile, I've even added chopped broccoli to the top. So what would you add to kick it up another notch? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want another popular casserole, make sure you check out my loaded cauliflower casserole. Thanks for joining me today. You can find the full printable recipe in the video description below. I'll see you next time. Bye.